And we have now learned the engineer survived the crash and is hospitalized in critical condition. Hello, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jessica Dean coming to you live from Hoboken, New Jersey, near the scene of that terrible accident from this morning. You know, 50,000 riders, both train and bus riders, travel through that terminal every day. It sits along the Hudson River right across from New York City, and authorities say that it's clear the train did not slow down when it entered that station. It is going to be many days, even weeks, before investigators can figure out exactly what caused this crash today. But let's break down what we know as of 5 o'clock today. We know one woman was killed in this crash. Governor Chris Christie saying that that woman was hit by debris while she was standing on the platform. We also know 108 others were injured, including that engineer. Rail service into and out of the Hoboken station has been suspended. Now, that train departed from Spring Valley, New York this morning. That is in Rockland County, just north of the New Jersey border. And Hoboken spoken was the end of the line. Eyewitnesses say the commuter train slammed into a wall at full force inside the rail station in Hoboken, New Jersey, around 8.45 this morning. Michael Larson, a transit employee, was inside the terminal about 30 feet away from the crash. I observed it coming at a high rate of speed. It went over the bumper block, basically through the air. Traveled about another 40 feet, came to a rest. People were standing on the platform waiting to commute into New York City. There were folks hobbling around, people holding their limbs, holding their backs and things like that. There were definitely, definitely some, some bad injuries. Blood kind of like around their faces. Um, people were like, you know, kind of holding on to each other. Officials say the station's roof partially collapsed on top of the train. Mike Skelzo was on board the train when the accident occurred and said it was hard to see what was going on around them. We were kind of, you know, between pieces of metal or what, but... Um, the person in front of us had an emergency window. We pulled the window open and then climbed out of that. Rescue crews climbed through crumpled train cars to reach passengers trapped under mangled metal and dangling wires. The injured passengers were taken to a parking lot that turned into a triage area. But people were crying and, and, and it, was, it was sad, man. It really looked sad. As federal investigators try to figure out what happened, they'll look at various factors, including the condition of the tracks and the speed of the train. And according to the Department of Transportation, the New Jersey transit trains do not have that positive train control. And you'll remember this from that Amtrak crash. We talked a lot about that. What that positive train control does is it either slows down or stops a train that is going too fast.